In conclusion, when we serve these groups, let's learn from Jesus a very important lesson. He fed the hungry and healed the sick, but he has never missed the ultimate goal, which is the kingdom of heaven. If the person ate or got healed, but he still did not repent and still sins, what is the benefit? Be wise. He needs something he does not know he needs. He needs Jesus and he needs repentance. He is not aware of his need. This is the ultimate need. John 6, 27. Do not labor for the food which perishes, but for the food which endures to everlasting life. This is the difference between the church's services and the world's charities. Their charities are built on good works, and we respect them very much. But the eternal aspect is not there. The aspect of Jesus and repentance is not on their radar. This life will end. But what is beyond? We should not miss this aspect. Neither if we eat are we the better, nor if we do not eat are we the worse. 1 Corinthians 8.8 8. Let's assume that you do not have any food and you are going to serve hungry people. You still have something to give. At the least, you have the Word of God. Be careful not to prioritize material services over spiritual. 2 Corinthians 9.8 God is able to make all grace abound toward you, that you, always having all sufficiency in all things, may have an abundance for every good work. In our community, we do not do that. We have more than what is sufficient. We have homes, beds, and bank accounts. We all should be abundant for every good work. You should focus on increasing your good work as long as you have all sufficiency in all things. Meaning, if we serve the sick, we should serve ten sick people. If we visit the poor, we should visit 50. We do not do that. Instead, we put a limit on our good work so that we can increase our sufficiency to be more than what is sufficient. However, the word sufficient means sufficient. Do you understand what I'm saying? We work hard and get tired so that we can increase $1,000 to become 2000 But in Jesus' language, the 1000 is sufficient. We will be asked about this. Why don't we increase our good work instead of increasing our belongings? Hebrews 13.2 Do not forget to entertain strangers, for by so doing, some have unwittingly entertained angels. This is a hard service nowadays. We are afraid of it. But we should think about it even if a little. When you guide a stranger where to go, this is a good thing too. Once, in one of our missions in Africa, the servants had an accident. They were okay, but they were alone in a secluded area in the middle of the night. It was scary. They found a house. The man and his wife gave them the house with the food in it when they knew that they were from the church. One of them told me this is the first time he understands the meaning and the value of this commandment. God taught them that he looks after them, and he sent angels to take care of them. Be aware of the quantity and quality. The quality of service is important just as important as the quantity. When you give clothes, give clean clothes, please. When you make food for the poor, make the best food. Give the poor the best thing you can. Also, be aware of the quality of the visit you make. When you push people to serve, do it with joy, because you are pushing them on the royal road. And glory be to God forever. Amen.